The boy who can manipulate snow and ice is Jack Frost. Everything he touches freezes. Though he's very powerful, but he's also very lonely. He has no memory of his past. The people of this world can't see him either. So he can only play pranks to make people feel him. When people drink water, he makes it freeze. And he ices other people's fish. He blows people's books away with the wind. He ice people's clothes. He play pranks on children during snowball fights. But still no one could see him. He lived alone for 300 years. Until one day he met a rabbit. It was the Easter Bunny. Jack was put in a sack and brought to a castle. This is Santa's castle. The rabbit was at the castle. And there was a tooth fairy who collects children's milk teeth. And there's a sleeping god who weaves beautiful dreams for children. These people are the children's guardians. They invited Jack to join them. A bunch of elves came out to sing and dance in honor of the new guardian. And the elves gave Jack a pair of boots. But Jack refused. He didn't want to be a demon. That's when the dream demon encroached on the earth. The points of light that symbolize the children's hopes were about to dissipate. The dream demon came to the tooth fairy's palace. He stole all the little tooth fairies and the children's teeth. As the children began to distrust the tooth fairy, the tooth fairy's power began to fade, and the tooth fairy's palace began to deteriorate. But the teeth held the children's most precious childhood memories. Tooth fairies wanted their teeth back, and Jack wanted to find his childhood tooth and restore his memories. But at night, even the god of sleep is corrupted by dreams. The night before Easter, Jack came to a cave. When he entered, he found the tooth fairy locked away. Beneath the cave was a mountain of teeth. Jack searched the mountain of teeth, hoping to find his own teeth and gain his memories. Then the dream demon appeared with Jack's teeth. He tried to bribe Jack with his teeth and trap Jack underground. When Jack returned, the Easter egg had been destroyed by the dream demon, and the children didn't believe in the Easter bunny. The other guardians saw the teeth in Jack's hand. They thought Jack had gone rogue. The other guardians left disappointed. Jack came to the snowy mountains, and the dream demon came after him. He was still trying to convince Jack to make an alliance with him, but Jack didn't believe him. The dream demon threatened him with the life of the tooth fairy. Jack had to give up his scepter, but in the end, the dream fiend hurt the tooth fairy and broke Jack's scepter. Jack was thrown over the cliff. The broken scepter was also thrown down. Jack was encouraged by the tooth fairy to open up the memories that his teeth held. The ice cracked under the little girl's feet. Jack comforted the girl, but there are more cracks in the ice. Jack jumped to the side. He quietly grabbed a stick and instantly pulled the girl back to her feet. The girl was saved, but Jack fell in the cold water of the lake. Jack suddenly woke up. So this is the memory of Jack's past life. Jack had a happy family in his past life. He also saved his sister. It was Jack's kindness. He was chosen to be the guardian god. When no one else had the power of God, Jack was still full of power. He found the dream demon and fought it. But the dream demon was now very powerful. So Jack woke the children. The children could now see Jack. The dream demon came with his army. Only Jack stood up to defend them. The dream demon launched an attack. It tried to kill all the guardians. The children, who were hiding behind Jack, were brave enough to come forward. The dream demon couldn't hurt the innocent children. He was turned into a dream by the children. The dream traveled through thousands of homes. The power of the guardians has returned. The sleeping god, consumed by nightmares, has returned. The light of hope has filled the earth once again.